As we approach November 1, All Saints Day and November 2, All Souls Day, uh, it is inevitable for us uh, uh, Roman Catholics to uh, perhaps learn and talk about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Kaya lang ko kalimitan, pag pinag-uusapan po natin itong four last things, medyo naiiwan yung isang uh, uh, mahalagang doktrina ng simbahan. Ito po yung purgatory. Naalala ko tuloy isang kwento. Uh, meron pong uh, isang pari at isang driver na namatay, pumanaw po, nasa pintuan ng langit, nandun sa harap nila si San Pedro. Uh, unang pinausap ni San Pedro yung uh, driver. No? Uh, sabi ni San Pedro, oh, pupunta po kayo dito sa langit, papasok po kayo sa kaharian ng Diyos. Narinig ito nung driver. E di, medyo excited na yung pare kasi sabi niya, naku, Kung yung driver nakapasok sa langit, sigurado na ako. So, nakapasok na sa langit yung driver. Eh, kaso nga lang, no, nung nakaharap na siya kay uh, San Pedro, no, uh, iba ang naging dating, sabi ni San Pedro. Father, pasensya ka na. Hindi ka daw muna sa langit, sabi ni Lord. Sa purgatorio ka muna. Naku. Siyempre, nagtaka yung uh, pare. Eh, sabi nung pare, uh, tanong niya kay St. Peter, eh bakit naman mo ganun? Yung driver, nakapasok sa langit. Ako nga, nag-serve kay Lord. No? Nag-serve ako sa simbahan. Ako pa yung magpopurgatorio muna. Sumagot si San Pedro, eh kasi naman po, Father, ganito ang nangyari. No? At kung babalikan natin yung Uh, nangyari sa lupa. No? Itong driver na pumasok sa langit, eh nung siya ay uh, uh, nagdadrive ng bus, no? eh alam nyo, mabilis magmaneho. Sabi parang king of the road. No? Uh, kaya dahil sa sobrang bilis magmaneho sa highway, yung mga pasahero na pipilitang magdasal, ayun. Kaya napapabanal yung mga pasahero. Eh kayo po, Father, pag nagsesermon, natutulog po mga tao. Anyway, kidding aside, what is purgatory? Purgatory stems from the Latin term purgare, which means to cleanse. In Roman Catholic doctrine, souls atoned for past sins are cleansed or purified in purgatory before entering heaven. Sa Tagalog, ang purgatorio ay hango sa salitang ugat na purga, nang ibig sabihin ay paglilinis. Kaya maganda nga itanong eh. Totoo bang may purgatorio? Kalimitang naririnig lang po natin ay langit at impyerno. Kaya nga po no sa larungan ng mga bata, di ba? Langit, impyerno, mahuli, taya. No? Uh, ano ba ang sinasabi tungkol sa purgatorio? Kung ito ay mahalaga. You know there is this uh, uh, Swiss theologian. Uh, his name is Hans Urs von Balthasar who wrote something about purgatory, if I may quote, God is the last thing of the creature. Gained he is heaven. Lost he is hell. Examining he is judgment. Purifying he is purgatory. He it is to whom finite being dies and through whom it rises to him. In Him, this He is. However, as He presents Himself to the world that is in His Son, Jesus Christ, who is the revelation of God, and therefore the whole essence of the last things. 
medyo malalim po yung sinasabi nitong uh, 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 itong kilalang teologo na ito. No? Pero parang sa paliwanag niya, sa kanyang pagninilay, sa kanyang pagmumulat, no? parang naging maliwanag na dahil tayo ay minamahal ng Diyos, tayo ay kinaawaan ng Diyos, minanais nga ng Diyos na sa paglilinis, sa purification process, tayo ay makarating sa langit. Is purgatory mentioned in the Bible? At times, this is asked. Or if we look at the Bible, how should we understand purgatory from the perspective of Scripture? Let me cite three scripture passages. Matthew 5, verse 8. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 12, verse 32. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. And finally, from the first letter of Peter, chapter 1, verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in His great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. If we reflect on these three scripture passages, key words come out. Mercy, forgiveness, love. And I think we can only understand purgatory from the vantage point of God's forgiveness, God's mercy, God's infinite love. Kaya nga ayon po sa Biblia, mauunawaan natin ang purgatory, hindi pasang awa sa Diyos, bagkos ay dakilang awa ng Diyos sa atin. Now you might ask, what does the church teach about purgatory? In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 1031, it is written, and I quote, The church gives the name purgatory to this final purification of the elect, which is entirely different from the punishment of the damned. The Church formulated her doctrine of faith on purgatory, especially at the councils of Lawrence and Trent. Alam niyo po, no, marami pong mga councils o konsilyo no, na doon lumalabas po yung uh, mga mahalagang doktrina ng simbahan. Kaya nga sinasabi nga po dito sa Catechism of the Catholic Church, isang binigyan po ng citation ay Council of Lawrence. And it is in this council, for instance, dated July 6, 1439, that the declaration of the existence of purgatory was presented. Two points. First, it is not a place but a state where the dead are purified. And second, the living can help the dead through prayer. Maganda nga po makita, no? even in our own national catechism, the Catechism for Filipino Catholics, these points no, are stressed. In number 2072, we read also the point that in ancient liturgical practice, there is the offering of prayers for the departed. And this was done so that they may be purified and be accepted into heaven. So what can we gather given the per perspective of scripture as well as the perspective of the church? Given the teachings of the Bible and also the teachings of the church. Three points. So the church's belief in purgatory shows first. The conviction that one 
can be in the presence of God only with absolute purity. Second, that in the other life, God, as we quote from Romans 2 verse 6, will give to each one according to his deeds, that death classifies human beings into distinct levels of perfection according to their use of freedom and how they serve others. And third, that we believe in the mercy, compassion, and love of God. We have a God who gives us many chances to merit eternal life. Kaya nga po ang purgatorio ay biyaya mula sa Diyos. Hindi dapat katakutan bagkos ay hiwaga ng pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. Naalala ko ulit isang kwento. Uh, mayroong isang paring namatay. E eh, ulit, no? nandun siya sa pintuan ng langit. Eh di sinalubang siya ni San Pedro at sabi doon sa pare, Ako, Father, uh, ikaw ay makakapasok na sa heaven. Eh di siyempre, tinur siya ni San Pedro sa heaven. Eh ang nangyari nga po ay, habang nandun siya, nakita niya, Aba, may mga anghel. No? Eh, what do we expect in heaven? I'm sure there is really this uh, uh, experience of uh, angels. No? Eh, ang nangyari nga po, no, uh, nakita niya yung mga anghel, no, uh, iba't iba, pero may napansin siya, may mga katangi-tanging mga angel na ikot ng ikot, ikot ng ikot. No? Uh, eh, medyo naging curious siya. No? Tinanong niya kay St. Peter, no? bakit po itong mga angel na ito, itong parte ikot ng ikot? No? Ayan. Eh, sabi niya, yan, mga guardian angel yan. No? May naka-assign dyan na isang kaluluwa. No? Kaso yung mga umiikot na angel na yan, no? kaya sila umiikot, no? yan ay para matulungan no? na makarating yung mga nasa purgatorio sa langit. No? Ah, ganun ba? Eh, kasi syempre, may mga parang binabayarang mga pagkakasala. No? Gusto ng Diyos, mapunta lahat sa langit. Eh. Ganun ba? Ah, ganun pala. No? Kaya kita niyo, may mga angels, ikot ng ikot. No? Tapos pinakita siya isang angel. No? Uh, St. Peter, bakit yung ano yung particular angel na yun. Kung baga sa electric pa ni eh, parang number three. Ang bilis ng ikot. No? Ang bilis ng ikot. Nako, Father, yan ay naka-assign sa iyong obispo <laughs> na nasa purgatorio para medyo mabayaran ng maraming kasalanan <laughs> at makarating dito sa langit. Sana po hindi mangyari sa akin yan. Brothers and sisters, I'd like to quote St. Catherine of Genova. And she said, There is no joy compared to those who are in purgatory except for the saints in heaven. This state should be desired more than feared because its flame are flames of immense love and longing. So in a nutshell, Purgatory is a splendid doctrine of hope and of Christian solidarity. Purgatory is the cry of humans that love is stronger than death. Therefore, we need to pray for the souls in purgatory. Tayong nandito pa sa lupa ay inaasahan ng manalangin para sa kaluluwa ng mga yumao Lahat higit ang mga namatay dahil sa COVID-19. You know, when uh, I was young, as we prayed the rosary as a family, and even now, we were actually taught by uh, our mother no, that after praying the whole mystery of the rosary, we would still end by praying for the poor souls in purgatory. 
We actually do that by praying one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In whom I